As per request, here's a look at Goodwill Hunting. This is the movie which really launched Ben Affleck and Matt Damon's careers into stardom. They would win Oscars for writing the script, and they would give Robin Williams an Oscar for his performance in the movie. It was a huge success, and even after years of parodies and mockery, it still seems to be a beloved 90s flick. The story is about a troubled young man from South Boston, working as a janitor in the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It turns out he's a genius, with photographic memory. A professor catches him solving a problem that nobody in his class can even attempt to solve. Of course, this is right around the same time that he gets in trouble with the law. So, Will Hunting, as he's called, is offered a chance to avoid prison if he studies mathematics with the professor and agrees to undergo therapy, much to Will's contempt. Eventually, after many failed attempts at finding the right therapist, the professor recruits his old roommate, Sean, to begin sessions with Will, and in the meantime, Will meets a young woman named Skylar, who's studying at Harvard. Aside from the obvious subject of therapy, Goodwill Hunting, more than anything, is a movie about interactions and relationships. And it features some of the best screenwriting I've ever come across in a movie. I've watched and rewatched individual scenes from this movie for almost half my life. The scenes between Sean and Will are the strongest ones, in my opinion. Sean challenges Will's defense mechanisms and tries to impart lessons that he's learned in his own life. The advice still holds up after all this time since the film's release, and the performances from Damon and Williams are spot on. The relationship between Will and Skylar also gives a lot of insight into both characters. Skylar and Will can both relate to a lack of parental figures in their lives, but when Will feels himself drawing closer and closer to Skylar, his defense mechanisms kick in harder and harder. Their chemistry never feels forced, and the emotions seem almost painfully real. I also really liked Stellan Skarsgård as the professor. What works about the professor, in my opinion anyway, is that he could have just been a self-serving villain. And while the movie does seem to portray him far more negatively than the rest, he's far more complex than that. He's a man with a narrow view of what success means, and he's arrogant, but his actions are the ones which lead to the story moving forward. He's the one who brings Sean and Will together, and for all his disagreements with Sean, he never stops being his friend. It also devastates him to see Will have all this potential and genius while never wanting to do anything with it. The same can be said for Ben Affleck's character. Chucky is Will's best friend, working construction in Southie. For most of the film, he's relegated to comic relief that sadly serves as the least memorable parts of the film. But late in the movie, he has a one-on-one -on -one scene with Will where he tells Will exactly what he needs to hear. It's still one of my favorite Ben Affleck moments in film. In short, Goodwill Hunting is a classic. It's one of Gus Van Sant's best films, and it offers us a glimpse at two future stars giving very earnest performances before their big break into mainstream Hollywood. Definitely worth watching if you haven't already seen it. I just hope they never end up finishing that sequel. <laughs>